we have looked at the options for dual vocational training and studying in Germany. One area of vocational training is still missing, school-based training. Some professions do not receive dual training in the traditional sense and are therefore not administered by the Federal Institute for Vocational Education and Training, BIVB. This applies above all to professions in the education and healthcare sector, but also in the artistic and musical field and in certain technical professions. There are special vocational schools for these professions called Berufsfachschulen. You can see which profession this applies to at the very end. This fact of school-based training is partly due to the fact that there are state specifications for the training content, examinations and recognition for the professions concerned. Like in the healthcare sector, it is a law on nursing professions. Another region is tradition. You don't become an actor through dual training at a theatre, but at a drama school. When it comes to vocational schools, Berufsfachschulen, we also have to differentiate a little according to the federal state and area. In North Rhine-Westphalia, for example, there are Berufsfachschule 1, 2, 3. These enable students to obtain the general school leaving qualification of Hauptschule or Mittlere Reife in order to start an apprenticeship afterwards. This means that anyone who did not do so well at secondary school and did not obtain the relevant qualification can then catch up at a Berufsfachschule. Other Berufsfachschulen specialize in one area and provide training for this profession or this area of professions. These schools are run by the state and privately and some are also run by churches. At these schools you originally paid school fees and were provided training. This means that traditionally trainees did not receive any money here but instead had to pay money. Depending on the school and area this is still the case today. However, the costs vary. For occupational therapists, for example, NRV, Northern Westphalia, pay 70% of the cost, so the trainee has to pay 30% themselves. For nursing professions, such as nurses or geriatric nurses, training is free of charge and trainees even receive a training allowance. Training for educators in a kindergarten is also generally free of charge, as I have already mentioned here. In these areas, depending on the school, there are even forms that are very similar to dual training in which students work directly with companies, kindergartens or hospitals. As a rule, nothing is added for training at a drama school. However, it is also possible to receive support for training costs like a training loan under the Vocational Training Assistance Act Berufsausbildungsförderungsgesetzes, BAföG in short. One point is very important for these training courses. The training should be state recognized, staatlich anerkannt. This has several advantages. Firstly, you can then start the training as a minor. Just like dual vocational training, this vocational school fulfills compulsory schooling requirements until the age of 18. Secondly, you can then build on these qualifications by continuing your education anywhere in Germany or, if necessary, studying as this qualification is recognized. Thirdly, an employer knows what the person can do, regardless of whether you know exactly which individual vocational school you attended. How you apply for this is somewhat different. If you want to enter a nursing profession, you will often find job advertisements from hospitals or nursing services. On the other hand, if you want to study at a music or drama school, you will most likely apply to the school and often have an audition. In addition, there is sometimes the need for a certain school leaving certificate, like the Mittlere Reife or even high school diploma. At the end of school, there is always a series of examinations to obtain at state recognized staatlich anerkannt qualification. The duration of the training courses is just as varied as the courses themselves, usually two to three years with corresponding practical components. If you want to take a closer look at the individual professions, I can only recommend the official website 
of the Arbeitsagentur Employment Agency, where the content and training for all professions in Germany are described. You can also find most of the vacancies there and narrow them down locally, free of charge of course. Have I forgotten anything else about vocational training after school? Write it in the comments. Thank you for your attention and we'll see you next time. Now, here's an overview of the professions that you can currently learn through school-based training. Good luck!